Wild Jim Panky here with Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Now, I know, I know, this this is not one that's going to come up at a bluegrass jam, but I know a lot of y'all have kids and grandkids, and I get requests for this tune way more than you might guess. And, hey, Flatt and Scruggs did it on the Carnegie Hall album. If you don't have that, you need to go get it. So... It's in the bluegrass canon. So <laughs> I'm going to give you a uh, a break for Old MacDonald Had a Farm. And you can do with it what you will. I've got a few ideas of places that we can, we'll do it simple. And then we'll, we'll complicate it a little bit on the E-I-E-I-O parts. So let's, uh, let's do this thing. But, 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 but first... Hey, the way this works is, if you like this, hit a like button and be sure to subscribe. That way YouTube knows that you like this. And, and I know that you like it. And if you'll ring the bell, you'll get notifications. Appreciate it. Now, let's do the song. I started with just a standard lead in like we did in the uh, super simple Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> just a walk up on the fourth string, 024. And then if you did our potatoes video, it's just the slide from four to five, it's forward roll, four, three, one, five, and then th third string, and then the fourth string. So that sounds like. And then you're going to get a C chord. You're going to hammer to that fourth string, and it's just alternating roll four, two, five, one. And then your fourth string open, everything open actually, four pinch. And now for our E I E I O part. So second string, third string, and then third string at the second fret, fourth string at the fourth fret, and then the third string and the first string open. You pinch them with your fingers. So that sounds like. And that gets you through one time. Now, let's look at the next time. Same walk up. That's all the same. This time I did the C part a little different. We're going to hammer to it instead of doing a alternating where we go to the fifth we're going to go down to the third so it's going to be like four two three one so it's some very it's some variation for the sake of variation and then fourth pinch and so if the e i e i o part you could go again but we're going to do something different so we're going to do a slide like cripple creek and then we're gonna do a little single string action on the second or second fret, third string. So thumb and then index on the third open. And then the thumb on the fourth string at the fourth fret. First string open. So that sounds like. And then we'll just get some pinch action. Three, pinch, three, pinch. All right? Okay. Now we're ready for our, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, that part of the song. And that's all going to be some potato type stuff. And it's, so I'm going to do a, so just four, three, one, five, three, pinch. Do it again. And then just for the sake of variation, we're going to do a slide and then the pinch on three and one. So do a, two of those and then another. So that whole sequence sounds like. Perfectly clear, right? Yeah, it, it's simple. I promise you, you've got this. And then we got it. We got it. We got to end this thing. So it starts the same way with that slide. And then we're going to do our hammer to C. This time we're going to hammer to C. We're going to leave the first string open. 
because we can. So four, two, three, one, and then four pinch. And now let's do a melodic lick for our E-I-E-I-O. Let me play through it. I'm gonna have to bring our middle finger up to the second string. So it's, and then our ring finger is on the fourth string, seventh fret. So it's two, four, three, two, four, three, and then back to the fourth fret, four, one, three. So. All right, now let's go through it slow, all the way through. So here we go. Walk up. farm and now you can play it for yourself for your kids for whoever wants to hear it have fun with it thanks for watching we'll see you next time